Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. I want to jump right into the charts, talk about three more reasons why we're bullish. We'll take a look at Ethereum, uh, Ethereum Bitcoin pricing. We'll take a look at BSV, which had a huge pump yesterday and a excellent short opportunity that we posted in our Discord so let's jump right into it really quick and uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and pass it to a friend if you enjoy some of the content. All right. So uh, first point uh, that I did not bring up yesterday is we've been talking about it for some time is the daily uh, BBWP. I'm actually going to get rid of this RSI really quick. This guy. Uh, paired with the stochastic. So this is our momentum indicator. This is our volatility indicator. When volatility gets above 25%, we said, hey, look, uh, price is likely to go in the direction of the trend and momentum will remain to the upside as long as we're above 27,418. Now, <laughs> that is gonna be a major pivot on the market, I think. Um, <laughs> at least in the short term, at least in the short term. And here's why, if we do close back, if, if momentum flips back down to the downside um, and volatility continues to increase, so we lose this region here at, uh, well, I would say more importantly, somewhere right around here, uh, the purple 200, right? And volatility continues to increase and you don't see the moving average curl back over well, uh, the volatility is going to gain some momentum and the daily volatility uh, expansion play can get you up to 20%. Um, let's talk about the two days. Well, the two day momentum is to the upside, just got about 25%. The two day volatility expansion play is gonna get you a 30% move in either direction. Uh, everybody's saying, oh, Bitcoin rejection, Bitcoin going home for the winter, Bitcoin, blah, 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 blah. All over Twitter, everybody is talking about this massive rejection. And I still am going to stick by my thesis here that uh, Bitcoin does put in a higher low um, and don't fight the daily downtrend until proven otherwise. So what do we have? A higher low and a higher high trend reversal, four points of contact, um, and this is even a higher high than this high. Yep, trend reversal on the daily time frame definitely puts things, um, puts extra grease or extra gasoline in the fire for the bull tank. Now, can we get a short-term pullback and get what's called a monthly backfill um, and fill out this price action down to about 26,000? Yes, definitely in the cards. There's still low liquidity in the market, so the market makers are having a field day just liquidating all the leveraged people, uh, bringing that up really quick. I do want to bring up high block capital uh, to look up some of our liquidation levels here. On the shorter term time frames. And I do want to take a look at BSB and Solana. Uh, so uh, do we get a push up to what is that? 28,160. Uh, next kind of 200 million worth of liquidations there. Uh, but what is closer to us than that? Oh, I wish I could redraw this. Uh, what is closer? This giant pink bar right here, which is coming in, I guess, 50 million of the 100x uh, liquidations right there. Probably going to get a bounce off of 27.3 and, um, you know, on the first pass and then, you know, makes that attempt down a little bit lower to 27. Um, and as long as we don't close below there and flip the daily momentum back down, I think things will be okay. Um, BCH also putting in a nice retracement uh, alongside that BSV trade. So I'm going to get to in a minute, but uh, more importantly, I want to bring us back to the two day time frame. We did talk about the two day hidden bearish divergence, which uh, did not play out, but will have a chance to play out as um, as the if we do confirm this as a local high here, let me pull this up. 
go back on the two day. I'm going to get rid of that. And what you can see is from this pivot right here, we are going to put in just one drive, one drive which gives you a shot down to the nine exponential, which is this guy right here. So that's completely fine. Uh, two day closure is coming up in nine hours and 57 minutes. Problem is, you know, where does 30% from here take us as if momentum crosses back down below 26,820, which right now, that was my point is volatility is expanding. The momentum is to the upside. And if we see that get into the critical zone, uh, you know, good sign or, or at least above 70, it's going to be a good sign for the bulls. So two day volatility is expanding with momentum to the upside. The daily volatility is expanding with momentum to the upside. What about the three day and the four day, the three day momentum to the upside. We have not got the expansion yet. And seemingly though, you know, I'm noticing here a bit of a, a trend. So expansion, come back down. So we want the full expansion above 25% to get that nice 30, 40% move is going to be off the four day and the five day time frame, And we do not have expanded expansion. So momentum is to the upside. Now we just want to see volatility start to expand in the right direction. So uh, that is also, so volatility is expanding momentum on the two day, three day, four day, five day, and even the weekly time frame have now all crossed up to the upside. So if the bulls are going to make it, I'd say this is probably where uh, they're going to do it from. Uh, looking at the bear case, right? We came right up to the 618 rejected on the weekly time frame, that is where your bull traps will come in. And, um, you know, even if Bitcoin does wick down here and, you know, take out some more leverage. Oh man, did my trade just hit? Did my trade just hit? Let's see. I wanted to, I definitely want 120% gainer. Not bad. I posted that in the discord this morning. And uh, let's see why we did that really quick. So I am going to grab that little gainer and uh, not bad, not bad. Boom. And I'm just going to show you guys why. Okay. So I might want to re-enter on this. Uh, why I took profit there at the green 55 and um, look, check out the free discord. Boom. It's right here. All you got to do is join, uh, join here. I don't know why crypto banter is po posting in my thing, but uh, you join the crypt courses. You're going to get the trade signals absolutely free. And if you were awake at 639 uh, Pacific time, well, you would have uh, seen this signal right here. Got your entry at 39.29 and uh, stop loss right up there at 40.62 and your take profit right at the purple 200. Uh, beautiful little uh, breakdown of this triangle. Hit the measure move and does it usually bounce from there? Yes. So, um, yep. Just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Hope you guys uh, will join us for a little bit of fun and um, get your trade signals on. So my question is, do I want to just add a little bit more in there? I, I think I'll wait for the moment, but um, I'll wait till I'm done with the stream at least and see what's going on in the 15 minute time frame and Perfect sell off the green 55. Very nice. Back to the bottom side of the range. And oddly enough, you know, Bitcoin did come and do the full retrace. Uh, from what we spoke about this week, uh, we broke the weekend trap box. We had the false move. We came back down and tapped the box uh, just for a little love yesterday and popped back up to the green 55 and rejecting now again, once again. Is momentum flipping to the downside? Yes, it is. So I'm going to end the stream a little sooner because I want to uh, 
so we talked about volatility expansion. That was one reason. Two, okay, I'm going to give you this and credit to Crown on this one. Uh, always pointing it out. The yellow 21 on the exponential moving averages. A lot of people are talking about it, to be fair, all over the interwebs here. But um, just simply putting this off and generally... Um, as Bitcoin puts in a higher low uh, and the 21 gets a positive slope, once again, that does typically mark a low, a trend reversal. And in order to see that slope a little bit better, what we want to do is, I forget, no, well, it's not going to, it's not going to work for me at the moment, but you can see this 21 exponential moving average. Did We did close back above it. So above the 21, good. Below it, bad. We're back above it. Can we go back below it? Of course we can, but generally good for the bulls there. And secondly, uh, the accumulation distribution indicator. One of our secondary charts here uh, on the weekly time frame. Oh yeah, this is very good. Very, very good. So once this... Uh, thing make once this thing accumulation distribution indicator regains a positive slope which it did for the first time last week bulls are back in control guys break out your wallets um you know might consider accumulating some bitcoin over the next week or two um definitely uh what we're looking for like i said on the daily time frame is a higher low. And we said yesterday, likely to come back down, put in a higher low. And we want to see that higher low come somewhere above the previous higher low, which is going to be this guy right here at 26,300. And remain with the daily uptrade. Don't fight the daily trend, the daily downtrend, the daily uptrend. Now we are officially in a daily uptrend. Great for the bulls. And, um, yeah, that's it for today, guys. No, I said Solana and BSV. I was going to show you guys that trade, but it already hit while we were on stream. So the question is, are we going to bounce from here? I think it's got more to go. In fact, I think this one's going to come all the way, all the way down. And so that's why I want to get back in it. Looking for the next lower high on the 15-minute time frame. Maybe a retest of this area at about 40 bucks and come back and get it again. Uh, let me put on my regular chart. My regular chart. Where is it? So BSV is not Bitcoin. It's a alternate coin that uh, had a massive pump yesterday, 25% of the upside. Um, pretty darn massive, massive, massive. And um, I did post the trade setup yesterday, got stopped out, uh, but went for it a second time this morning and 120% gainer. So, you know, you, you lose 10%, make 120%. That's why you always put those stop losses in there. BSV. So volatility is beginning to expand not only on the 15 minute time frame, uh, the hourly is flipping back up where's the four hour four hour volatility you know it could put in one more nice little bounce one more nice little bounce and then then it's party to the downside looking for this one to come all the way down to about 33 bucks 33 dollars sir okay and uh let's check out that eth bitcoin chart i did mention that and we talked about, hey, when might it be alt season again? Well, uh, this this little fall-in wedge pattern is playing out beautifully. And, you know, once this thing comes in, puts in a low on a higher term time frame, you know, that might be a time we start taking a peek at uh, some altcoins. And you can see this is on a, you know, this thing broke out several weeks ago, almost a month ago to the downside. Can definitely play a bounce off the purple 200, uh, but it has bounced a couple times, getting weaker and weaker as we punch into the glass a little bit more. Um, what other trade setups are out there? Another one uh, that I did post this morning was a Solana short trade. Again, 
Uh, you're going to have to be on it, right, to get these trades in, but um, on a five-minute time frame. Saw a nice little wick to the upside as we broke the range, hit the 1618 fib, and what's likely to happen? You're going to come back and test the nine or the retracement area, which is... Um, so we talked about BSV. We talked about Solana. I'm also going to show you a gold trade that I posted uh, that just worked out beautifully for all you gold guys out there. Uh, gold on the 15 minute time frame. We were looking at this one and uh, definitely, definitely for all the people I talked to gold about gold yesterday, I said prices are going lower. Why are they going lower? The dollar is going up. But this is the area it was expected to bounce. So uh, we were talking about this trade as we deviated above the range. I think we we're looking more on the hourly time frame. Um, we have this long-term falling channel, right? Been playing in the channel for a very long time. We deviated above the range, get back in it, do a little retest. Um, I actually think I was shorting here, put the stop loss there, said here's our TP1, here's our TP2 at the bottom side of the range. Worked out beautifully uh, for the gold. So maybe we'll talk about some upside targets in the future. Silver also had this one drawn out. Plain as day, drawn out. A uh, bit of a fake out, but uh, stop loss uh, was up here. And, you know, TP right here. So interesting, interesting, and putting in a bit of a W here um, looks like probably wants to bounce. So the question is, the dollar going to cool off? Oh, it is cooling off. Okay. Hit the target officially yesterday. If you watch the video, I did say likely to, uh, you know, come up in the middle of this region. I wouldn't be surprised to see that. I imagine we did get some economic data that came out today, which I'm going to throw that up here as well. So 6.30 a.m., what happens? Um, Pacific time, no, did we get the data yet? Today, yes. Let's refresh this chart. The jolts numbers will jolt you when you see that's bullish for the dollar. So uh, job openings, 9.6 million, job quits, ooh, I don't know how that's uh, bullish for the dollar, but apparently it is. Came out higher than expected. Job quits. So people quitting their job, getting a new job, perhaps. Um, and lastly, liquidation levels. So we did say, okay, Bitcoin likely to come down and tag this line, which is 27, call it 27.2. Um, 27.2, likely to get tagged. And gave away the best trade of the year, probably, that uh, BSV short, which I, I do think I am going to add to my position, just waiting till I get off the stream. And if you want to get the Discord, well, all you got to do is uh, go to uh, the link in the description below and click on join the VIP Discord, join, ask questions, get some coaching. Um, yep. ETH Bitcoin, gold chart, Bitcoin Cash, doing something very similar. Ah, oh, I was ready to take that one as well. I didn't get it. Didn't get it, but I think these guys are going for the full retrace, you know. Um, what do I mean by that? Well, we had the weekend, tra oh my gosh, I can't believe I missed that. Uh, the weekend trap price, and now we're back. Yeah, let's... Let's get in that. Death cross on the 15 minute. Beautiful play. Got sucked into the cross, spit back out. Stock market is recovering here as the dollar is uh, pumping or, or dumping. <laughs> pumping or dumping. What's it going to be, sir? Um, like I said, generally speaking, you know, um, dollar's looking strong. Yields are going up. Yields are continuing to go up. And I would suspect that uh, the last one I want to look at here is Solana. Solana had a huge pump. Um, Solana had a huge pump. To be fair, it's looking more bullish than not. You know, we had this huge wick, came back down, filled out the wick, 
consolidated, retested all the WIC price action, order books filled, and now we're on the 15 minute time frame making higher highs and higher lows. But um, do I trust it? No, absolutely not. So what do I think happens on this one? If we're going to get one more push to the upside, one more push to the upside would bring this guy maybe up here, 25, 26 bucks, and then sends it to the downside. But this one likely to fill out back to the downside also, and at least get a, time, uh, a test down here to about 22 bucks. That's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Throw a thumbs up on there for me and we will see you tomorrow. Take care.